All right, hello, welcome back everybody. PayPal Patreon are down below if you want to support me. Only do so if you actually can, along with the whatever super YouTube buttons. So here we have another one of the occasional water level issue update videos. This time specifically looking at Iran's case. As I've spoken in the past about issues with the U.S. Central Plains aquifers, especially the Ogallala, and also about India's oncoming dangerously close depletion of its agricultural groundwater around 2040 or the early 2040s is when that starts. However, there are nations that are even closer to that emergency brink. For example, the main country that most recently has constantly come on the brink of almost running out of water completely has been Tunisia, which is not the biggest global geopolitical player, obviously, and doesn't have the largest economic impact. However, now we have the case of Iran, a nation of nearly 90 million people. It is at least a medium-tier geopolitical impact, geopolitical player on the stage, and a critical resource supplier to the outside world at large. And Iran is very close to the edge. In terms of percentage, the country relies about 60% on groundwater, underground aquifers, the stored results of rainfall ages ago, and it has been over-pumping those for many decades and has reached the point now where water levels or the water table where the, where the well first comes into contact with the groundwater underground has gone from about 25 meters of depth decades ago down to the water table level being on average about 150 meters down today. And obviously underground aquifers, porous rock layers holding the water are not perfectly uniform rectangular swimming pools of porous rock underground. They undulate and fluctuate at different levels with different layers of thickness across countries and regions. So it's never a case of country A or region B runs out of groundwater completely at exactly that moment. It's this part here and that part there hits complete dry bedrock and then this part follows, then that part. However, Iran's already at the point where huge chunks of it are going to start reaching the bottom out level within two to three years and then the rest of the country following suit within a number of years after that and when things actually reach this point several years from now that's obviously going to cause a catastrophic chain of events as mentioned the country lies about 60 percent on groundwater for its total water needs and about 90 percent of its water consumption is for agricultural usage so in the absence of that groundwater supply, that takes out about half of Iran's agricultural output. Iran's agricultural output being enough to feed roughly 75 million people out of their population of close to 90 million, which then leads to shortages and unavailabilities, not necessarily in the country that now suddenly needs to import a bunch of food because, because most likely they'll be able to pay for it with oil money. But then that problem kind of gets dumped off elsewhere as food meant for poorer countries then gets diverted to them. And so you kind of just shift the would-be famine and mass starvation death to somewhere else. Now there are a few things that could be done. There are some countermeasures. Iran potentially could take the route of the other Persian Gulf nations, or some of them at least, and abruptly decide to rush into building a bunch of desalination plants. They tend to run a demand of about one gigawatt of constant power per the water needs of every three or four million people of a population. There would also then be the question of how Iran would be able to suddenly generate all these new extra tens of gigawatts of power output as they're already constantly over limit with their natural gas usage. So if they did do the desalination route, the only real mass power option at that point would be importing a bunch of coal from Russia. Because of allyship and proximity alone, they'll probably turn to Russia for excess grain and whether just as a trade for food shipments 
or if Iran does do the whole nasty salination thing and asks for a bunch of coal as well, Russia will probably, if the war is still going on at that point, have Iran trade by donating a bunch of young men who Russia can then go send to die in Ukraine. You know, this is just looking at the water problem standalone. This isn't even factoring in potential and likely upcoming regime change operation attempts by the U.S. and IDF. So you can go ahead and use your imagination tying all those together. But that's it for this one. Thank you, everybody, for sticking around and listening. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. PayPal, Patreon, and YouTube, whatever buttons are down below if you want to support me. Only do so if you actually can. Images of things from within Iran tend to be grainy and low quality, and the ones that aren't tend to be owned by, like, National Geographic, and they're heavy-handed with their copyright strikes. There's a link to my cat's YouTube channel in the top-end comment. May God bless and protect all of you, and I will see you all around next time.